1958, Frank joined the Boeing Company in the Contracts Department. Uh, we had what we called at that time a legal services unit, and its job was to negotiate contracts for airplanes, commercial airplanes, after the initial sale was made. During this time, Frank and Harriet were also busy raising three boys, Craig, Rick, and David. In 1973, Frank left Boeing when he was appointed Assistant Secretary of the Air Force for Installations and Logistics. In 1976, he became Assistant Secretary of Defense. Well, I had a good experience. Uh, it's an exciting place to live and work. My biggest challenge was to uh, head up the U.S. effort to sell the Europeans the F-16 fighter, which we did successfully conclude, and I felt very good about that. After four years in Washington, Frank and Harriet knew it was time for a change, and Boeing wanted Frank back. So he rejoined Boeing in 1977 as the corporate vice president of contract administration and planning. I knew the people, um, and I liked them. And again, it was a Northwest situation. So um, I accepted their offer and returned here uh, oh, about February of 1977. And other Boeing employees like Phil Condit were happy to have Frank back. Frank was one of those wonderful stabilizing influences in my career. Um, he was a guide, he was a help, he was always encouraging. Uh, if you ever had an issue, you could go sit down and talk to Frank. Those qualities didn't stop at the office. My dad has a particular balance about him. He's very grounded. Um, he's not flashy. He's not um, aggressive and abrupt. He's thoughtful and reasoned, um, which sometimes drives you nuts. Those leadership traits helped propel Frank to the top of Boeing. He became CEO in 1986, and two years later, chairman was also added to his job title. I think a lot of Boeing's success was the fact that Frank was able to build a, a superb team. He let the organization be what it could be, encouraged the organization to be everything it could be. In fact, during Frank's leadership, he guided Boeing through the effects of the worst airline slump in history, conceived and presided over a sweeping cultural change for the company, and began to guide the creation of Boeing's next success, the 777. Frank was Boeing's CEO until April 1996, and on August 1st, 1997, Frank also stepped down as chairman and retired. <laughs>